what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my large cast iron wok here to make some co uh, coconut oil. I'm going to make some popcorn, but what I'm going to use instead of using a liquid oil, I'm going to use coconut oil. This is a uh, unrefined coconut oil, and I just want to see how it works out with the. Uh, here it is. I've been looking for it. I'm going to use uh, a third a cup, third of a cup of uh, popcorn, and today I'm going to use the yellow uh, corn by Signature. This is a uh, Jewel Food Stores. Their brand, their normal brand is non-GMO, right there. I think you can see that. Uh, but this is the yellow popcorn. I've got some other here by Orville Rock, Rockenbacher. I can, I, it's hard to say that at this time of the day. But I'm going to use the yellow corn today, and we're going to see how this works. So I put about a tablespoon in there of oil, and I've got the heat right now. I'm going to set it to about six, about midway. And I'm just going to put this in here and set this off to the side for right now. Just about that much. This is a third of a cup of popcorn. And what I'll do is I'll, actually I'll put this to about eight on the uh, temperature gauge here. I'm going to show you that. Let me take this around here. I'm putting that right about here on eight, number eight. Is that eight? Yes. Okay. That's the flame underneath it. This is not, it's got a flat bottom, but it's kind of a like a hollowed out flat bottom on the, I don't know if you can see that on the, on the walk, but it's fine. Okay, so let's put this back here so you can see what's going on. And I'm going to shut the camera off because it will take a few minutes for all the uh, coconut oil to melt. Well, maybe not. It's doing pretty good. But what I'm going to do is I will take one kernel of corn here and when this gets melted, I'll put the kernel in when that one pops I'll put the rest in. So I'll be right back in a minute. Once the uh, coconut oil uh, melts down, what I do is I'll, I'll lift it up. That takes two hands with this because this is like 20 pounds. And I'll swish it around like this to get the uh, coconut oil up on the sides. And then I put it back down. And now I'll take my one kernel of oil, or oil, one kernel of corn. Again, this is the, uh, the yellow popcorn. Uh, by Signature, which is the, the uh, brand of Jewel Food Source. So we'll put that in and we'll just leave it there. We'll leave it on. And when it pops, and I'll take the rest of it and dump it in there. So I'll be back in a minute. One of the things I want to bring your attention to is a lot of the uh, recipes for popcorn, I don't care if they tell you in a wok or in a pan, but they say what you should do is after a couple of minutes, get up and shake it. And that's so you get all the kernels that are supposed to be pop, popped. So now what I'm going to do, I'm not going to shake it at all because if you notice the sides are, are sloped and what happens is it pops, the rest of it runs down the sides and then the pop goes up at the top and so there we go. So now we're going to take this off, get that popcorn and I'm just going to mix it around a little bit so they all get coated with this. Now I'm going to put this top on. This is a Mama Fong's aluminum top it does find I've made a lot of popcorn with this. But what I was trying to tell you, you don't have to shake this. You don't want to shake it anyway because it's pretty heavy. And you don't have to because it's slope sides. Uh, give it an experiment. Try it for yourself. You'll see what I mean. It works perfect every time. So I'm going to set the timer now for three minutes. I should have set it right in the beginning. And I'll show you that. Let's take this over here. I'm going to set the timer right there for three minutes. And probably, let's see how good I am on estimating the time. It takes it like two minutes and maybe 40 seconds, and this popcorn will be done. You won't hear any more kernels. Hopefully. <laughs> I'll just set it there and see what happens. And I'll be back in about three minutes. We'll see, see where you can hear it popping underneath there. Be right back. But right now, I don't hear any more pops in there and we're at about 32 seconds so I was real close so I'm going to shut this off I'm going to turn my heat down to no turn it off and then I'm going to take the top off now the top has got oil oh there it goes every once in a while I get a, some of them that pop out afterwards 
but the top has got oil in the bottom from the coconut. And what I'll do is I'll take this over now and I'll set it in the sink like this because if you put it on a tabletop, the oil will make a ring around your uh, tablecloth. So there you are. That's, you can see that it's hollowed out in the center here and it's higher around the edges. Now I don't know how this tastes. Let's see. Now I'll tell you something, that coconut oil gives it a nice flavor. What I'll do now is I'm going to take some butter, about a quarter of a uh, bar of butter, and I'm going to melt it and I'm going to pour it over the top and I'm going to mix it in here. So I'll be back in a minute and I'll show you that. All right, what I did is I just poured the butter in. And now, I, since I have some butter in here yet, what I'm going to do is I'll just take it, I put it in like this. And there's uh, coconut oil in the bottom also. And that helps to coat the peach kernel with a little uh, butter or coconut oil. Now, the reason I use, I don't use more than a third of a cup of popcorn because it gets, there's too much in here, it goes flying all over the place when you do, when you do this. So, let's see how this works. All right, set that off to the side. Taste, taste it. Pretty good. All right, now I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna scoop it kind of like that. Then you can put some salt in here if you want to. Sit down to your most favorite movie and uh, you're set to go. So I hope this helps. Let me recap a little bit. I'm using a large uh, cast iron wok. And I put about a tablespoon of uh, refined coconut oil in it. You know, it's nothing special. You can buy it everywhere. And I'll put some links down below for that. And I, and I happen to use uh, the yellow uh, corn kernels. For this particular batch, I'm gonna I get four other kinds of popcorn I'm gonna use, and I'm also gonna use some different containers in order to make it in bowls, and uh, we'll see how it works out. Now I'm not gonna leave this in too long because I don't want it to cook any further, because this really stays hot for a long time, and you gotta be careful. These are really hot; you don't want to burn yourself. So uh, there you have it. The good thing about this, because it does weigh 20 pounds, is that it's not gonna move all over the stove. And because it weighs 20 pounds and it's really hot, it's a blessing that you don't have to pick it up and shake it like you do on most recipes. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll put some other links up in the corners pertaining to this, this particular uh, cast iron uh, wok and also uh, making some of the different types of popcorn. Thanks for stopping in. We'll see you later. Enjoy. Bye. Before I go, I wanted to point out one thing to you. With this particular pan, uh, Remember I told you everything slides down and it pops from the center up? But look at how many kernels I had left. Four lonely little kernels in the bottom that didn't pop. So it depends on the type of corn you're using too. I, other corn that I don't have any, I mean they're all exploded or popped. But this one I only had four little kernels that have not popped. So uh, it's very efficient. You don't even get that with uh, the microwave popcorn which I don't advise using. It's just not good for you. So. Just thought I'd point it out you have very few kernels that are wasted on the bottom with this method. Talk to you later. Bye.